For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com All right guys, now we're going to do uh, this problem which says uh, two part problem determine the x and y components of f1 and f2 and determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x axis so from here this way so the way you do this problem the way you do this problem is you got to break down f1 into the x and the y which will be 200 cosine of 45 degrees in the positive y direction plus 200 sine of 45 degrees in the j direction remember this is also 45 degrees so when you solve this with your calculator you get 141.4 in the i plus 141.4 in the j and sine and cosine of 45 are the same thing the second force, you gotta notice that is pointing towards the origin of the first force is 150 in the negative x direction, see the positive goes this way cosine of 30 degrees plus 150 sine of 30 degrees when you solve this you get that is equal to negative 129.9 in the i plus 75 in the j so when you add the x components with the x components and the y components with the y components you get that the resultant force is equal to 11.52 i plus 216.4 j notice that the x components they almost cancel out and the y components kind of magnify each other so we end up with a force somewhere over there Now we got to convert this into polar form to get the magnitude of the resultant force we have to do the square root of the x and the y component squared that's a 2 and when you do this you get that the magnitude is 216.7 newtons and to find the angle you got to do the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component and you get that theta is equal to 86.95 degrees and these are the solutions for the first half of the problem so you see that the answer more or less makes sense always check that this angle is almost 90 degrees it's 86.95 degrees and the force is pretty long almost going in the direction of the y at 216.7 so final answer final answer final answer Final answer.